playing a pivotal role in the preservation of our planet's past. Paleontology and earth science related museums showcase ancient life forms, geological processes, and environmental changes that have shaped the earth over billions of years. These museums provide invaluable educational experiences, sparking curiosity and wonder about the natural world and our place within it. When you learn off of an iPad, that is such a good jumping off point, but museums are so much more tactile. When you're on an iPad sitting on your sofa in your living room, you're surrounded by a whole bunch of things that are not that science. Whereas when you're in the museum, everything you see is related to that science directly. Museums are sort of the biggest interface that we have where people can come in and be immersed in the science. They really capture the imagination and dinosaurs in particular seem to be very, very good at that because fossils are extremely evocative. You can read about skeletons all you want, but when you actually look at them, you can wrap your head around it easier you're not just nebulously reading words on a page. Earth science and paleontology museums are pretty critical to inspiring science and inspiring future scientists. It's constantly changing. There are constant new discoveries, and it's like this is the information we have currently, but there's still so much more to be discovered. And I think that really excites kids, especially because you can tell them that you might be the paleontologist that discovers something that completely changes what we know about dinosaurs. As grand as skeletal models of dinosaurs may be, paleontologists have found different ways to retrace their steps and uncover this history. So fossils come in two different varieties. We have what we call body fossils, which are parts of actual body, so teeth and shells and bones and wood and things like that, leaves from plants. And then on the other hand, we have what are called trace fossils. And trace fossils are the remains of behaviors made by animals when they were alive. Trace fossils are things like footprints and tail drags and feather marks, little things that indicate behavior. To see more how the animals were living what they ate, and the pace and gait they were going, if they stopped, ran, how these animals actually were rather than how they're portrayed in movies. Whatever they were doing is all in our fossil record. The body fossil record is the remains of dead animals, and that's sort of a static picture. You can look at a skeleton all day, but that doesn't tell you how that animal moved, how that animal behaved, how that animal acted. Whereas the trace fossils are a dynamic picture. It's the remains of things that were happening made by active animals that were in the process of behaving on a day-to-day -day basis. Were they behaving as birds do? Were they behaving as mammals do? Behaving as other reptiles do? What were they doing? Were they doing something completely unique? Any of those things, that's the kind of information we're doing at this site. By preserving footprints of animals that are 200 million years old, the St. George Dinosaur Discovery Site welcomes dinosaur enthusiasts of all ages to discover where dinosaurs once walked. Since the St. George Dinosaur Discovery Site is a site that preserves trace fossils and footprints in particular, we're in a spot where dinosaurs actually walked 200 million years ago. So when people enter the museum, you are literally putting your footsteps in the same places where dinosaurs put their footsteps 200 million years ago. What makes this site so valuable and interesting is there are other museums that have fossil footprints, there are other museums that have skeletons, there are almost none that have that combination that we have here. So we can paint such a detailed picture of what life was like 200 million years ago here. I just love that about the site. Scientifically, that just piques my imagination and really makes me want to come learn more about it and turn around and tell that story to other people. It really is for all ages, dinosaur lovers of any kind. We have people here that are 100 years old and people here that are five years old. They are just as excited about dinosaurs. I've enjoyed teaching people and watching their faces light up as I give them all these wow factors that we have at this site. Our education team does such a great job at providing very interactive and very like hands-on things. When they can actually touch and feel and discover for themselves, it inspires them a lot more to keep going with science. Especially when we go up to the prep lab and they see the paleontologist working in there, it's like, oh, I could do that. Visitors can come watch the volunteers who are trained to do specific fossil preparation tasks come in and work on these fossils, which enhances them both for public display as well as enhances the science behind them. 
So the exhibits that we have at the St. George Dinosaur Discovery Site are here to communicate this is the state of the art science that is being done at this institution. So we're constantly updating our exhibits as well to reflect new discoveries and new interpretations of the material. And that's changing all the time. So the science will change also. Collecting more data with the fossils that we find and not knowing what we'll find next will make it exciting for the future and all the people that come and learn from them. What I would hope to continue doing is just inspiring people to care about paleontology. If people don't care, then discoveries aren't made and also discoveries are lost. So really inspiring the community to get involved with not just paleontology, but with all the science that's happening around Southern Utah because there is so much. Walk with dinosaurs at the St. George Dinosaur Discovery Site. To forge a Jurassic legacy and witness thousands of fossilized dinosaur footprints, visit utahdinosaurs.org.